Welcome. My name is Marco Dotta and I work at Chalmers University of Technology. The purpose of this presentation is to explain what the Safer 100 Car Toolkit is and demonstrate how you can use it. The Safer 100 Car Toolkit is a software developed in MATLAB to support analysis of the public data from the 100 Car Naturalistic Driving Study. The 100 car naturalistic driving study was the first large-scale naturalistic real traffic data collection. Data from 100 cars was collected in the US for a period of one year. This data comprises vehicle dynamics, driver control inputs such as steering wheel or pedals, radar data and lane marking information. Part of this data is now available online and can be found at the link below. I know you cannot click this link, so just Google for Safer 100 car. When following the previous link or just Googling for Safer 100 car, you will come to the Virginia Tech website that you see in this slide. In this website, both the public data from the 100 car study and the Safer 100 Car Toolkit are available. If you try to download the 100 car data from the Virginia Tech website, you will find the following files. As you can see, there are different data types organized in different files with a different format. With the Safer 100 Car Toolkit, you do not need to worry about this. Nevertheless, you still need to download the following documentation, which describes the data types and annotation from the 100 car study. Public data from the 100 car study comprehend 68 crashes event, 760 near crashes event, and about 20,000 random epochs of the baseline. However, the original data usability is limited by the data being divided in so many different and heterogeneous file types. The Safer 100 Car Toolkit overcomes this limitation by providing the user with a homogeneous, unique data set, together with a graphical user interface to visualize and analyze individual events. The Safer 100 Car Toolkit consists of three elements, a file system, with 828 files, 760 for near crashes and 68 for crashes, each of them containing multiple source information organized and homogenized on a trip-by-trip -trip basis in MATLAB format. An event matrix containing all data available for the 868 events and the 20,000 epochs of baseline organized according to a common structure with all data except the time series. And the graphical user interface able to visualize and analyze the data from the file system. The file system is intended for analysis of events in which time series are to be considered. For example, to find out the average speed at event onset in rear-end crashes with low visibility. The event matrix can be used any time in which time series are not of interest. The event matrix provides an immediate and effective way to access the whole data set. In fact, the whole data set can be loaded in the workspace since it is about 10 megabytes. This format is very helpful for descriptive statistics. For instance, few lines of code can retrieve the distribution of age for near crashes where the driver was a male. Finally, the graphical user interface can be used to take a close look to a specific event and to rapidly check some events to debug scripts. Now, let's take a close look to the graphical user interface. When you open MATLAB, just make sure to be in the same folder where you install the graphical user interface and run Safer 100 Car. The graphical user interface appears. At the top left, you can use the file browser to read a crash or a near crash event. Once you have read an event, many fields in this graphical user interface are populated. You will find the list of time series 
the description of the event, the video annotations, the class time and location, and which sensor was available for the specific event. By double-clicking on a specific signal, you will be able to plot it. Further, depending on the plotting settings, you may also see some colored bars. These bars represent case location. For example, green means that the driver was looking at the road, and red that the driver was looking at an object inside the car. A complete description of the color coding is reported in the Safer 100 car documentation. Before I conclude this presentation, let me remind you what we have gone through. First, I introduce the 100 car naturalistic study performed by Virginia Tech. Then, I presented a software called Safer 100 Car to analyze the data from this study. This software is made of three components, a file system, an event matrix, and a graphical user interface. And I shortly explain how you can use this component for your analysis. The software you have seen in this presentation was version 1.2 and is available on the Virginia Tech website. New versions of this software are planned and will enable the user to make new annotations and to calculate safety-relevant parameters. The development of this tool was supported by the Swedish government strategic funding for transportation. Thanks for watching this presentation. If you find any bug in the Safer 100 car toolkit, please do not forget to report it.